Good morning, folks. This is Darth Ravage 07 coming to you today with another Rise of the Beast uh, quick review. We uh, seem to be getting these guys in. That's like in twos. We had two Terracons. We have a uh, Battle Trap and Freezer that came in. Uh, then we've got uh, two Autobots and two Maximals. And I'm just sta standing that little tandem there. So we got next up on the turntable another Autobot. Uh, but before we get going there, I just want to say thank you again to Hasbro Pelts for sending out so quickly. And I want to say thanks again to all those that have joined the journey. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Thanks again to everyone that has done so. Let's uh, turn this camera around and get the next Autobot out there on the table from the Rise of the Beast line. Thanks again for watching. Next up on the turntable, like I said, is... Uh, Transformer Studio Series Rise of the Beast Core Class RC, and I've had a lot of points of contention. Uh, them making these guys in Core Class, and you can kind of see the butt of the joke again right here. We're off bat before we even get her out of the box. There's some little box art right, right there on the side. She converts in 11 steps, and another like more full body shot there. That's about all I want to do it for that outside of. If you're looking in store, there is the UPC for RC. And they say Dynamite comes in small packages, but these have been mostly duds for me. Let's get her out on the uh, at her cardboard prison and take a closer look. Here is how RC comes inside of the box uh, on her, you know, display card. Tissue paper in the front, not in the back. The wheel off on the side, all tied by the new heart of Cybertron. These paper bindings and this plastic free packaging. I don't even know if tape counts as plastic, but we get gratuitous amount of tape with these guys lately. And here's the holy mess. Uh, whenever they punch the holes in the card of the display art there. And on the inside of these is like a little Transformers more than meets the eye. These uh, with the core class have been less than meets the eye. We also get the Lady of the Hours instructions, and this doesn't look bad at this angle here, but then we, we got some transformation steps right out of the box. You got to add in uh, her wheel. You'll, if you ain't careful, you'll, you'll throw these away because it's this is in the tissue paper as well as the blaster. So be careful when you're getting her out of the box, out of the packaging, make sure not to throw the tissue paper away and be careful unfolding the tissue paper because that blaster is small. It also doubles, as you will see right here in these instructions, as a kickstand of sorts there. So when you get her into the bike mode in 11 steps, there's that right there. So all that said and done, Let's take and look at those set accessories. This is the kickstand uh, blaster <laughs> shoehorned in there and the other wheel. And it's just a little peg there that you're going to use to peg into both modes. And like I said, there's the lady of the hour with the best looking little pose I can get her in here on the turntable on the box. And you can see how this all falls apart as we keep going around the sides there and uh i really like to have a nice rc without all this but uh the details are actually pretty crazy good as we get her in here closer to it and let you see that her face does have a gratuitous amount of paint added to it the, the finer details the black behind the blue eyes there and the head itself looks pretty crazy good and some paint there on the chest and abdomen and it does have a waist swivel trying to get into articulation i guess early because you the head can do this right here and i want to say it looks like it's on another joint inside of there she's so small you can't really get it down there to it it will go all the way around you can bust that really good running pose does have like the ball at the elbow ball there at the shoulder uh, it's got an extra hinge you can mold break and get a little bit more dynamic but that's ugly in my book uh there's the waist upper body is kind of clean and slender and what have you 
So then, I mean, you can get her bust in that pose. It's when you get to the lower half and the back side that everything does tend to fall apart. You just got this ugly no hinge. Uh, this could have like slid in or something or another and still kept the waist. Uh, I just don't like that at all. Uh, there's the legs on a ball. She can get the full split so you can get the full van damage. And Stadler actually looks pretty cool that way. Like I said, there again, you get into the ugly and the awfully waffly. And I, I can't come up with any bad punch there. But uh, another cool thing you can do with her is you can semi create that wheel look that she had in the trailer where she's skating down through there. And then you still got that ugly kibble there. I mean, this actually could have probably had another hinge put here, flipped up onto the back and concealed and, and held that other tire away instead of having to just plug right back in like it's get, getting ready to do that here in a minute. Uh, of the core class, I mean, she does got an extra chicken leg hinge and you can, you can chicken leg hinge these back a little bit and do that for that skating pose in there. Or you can even go so much further. You can give the homage back to the Revenge of the Fallen RC with the lower half of the body. And daggone, this is so aggravating. I just feel like a few more passes there. And with the awfully wafflies and the shoehorn in stuff, this could have really sung. I still think this is quite striking as it is. Trying to remain positive about this robot mode is, is really hard. I mean, because bam... It's the butt end of all jokes with these core class. It really is. Anyway, she, she's pretty sh quite striking looking. And I just feel like it misses so closely. But I mean, uh, core class for the sake of core class for cutting budgets. I say Hasbro adopts a G1 moniker and do it with style or don't bother doing it at all can i get a thumbs up and a <laughs> comment if i'm on to that at all guys i mean yeah do it with style or don't bother doing it and that's the way i feel about the core class in general this is such a great deal up here in the chest area I really do think that, that she deserves a bigger offering with the set articulation and or, I mean, those little nods there. I'm so, I'm so tired of seeing RC get the short end of the stick. Let's get her back on the turntable and finish showing off the lady of the hour because, I mean, she does look good like this to a degree. And if I ever posed her in robot mode, it'd be like this. With that flush against the back as it can get. This is where it's ugly, guys. I mean, daggone. I feel that those legs could have tucked on up into the rear of the leg there with the way it, especially it was designed. I borrowed some of the engineering from the old, you know, RC from uh, Transformers Pro. I feel like that did it well, but give her some ankle rockers where she can stand up and do that. And, uh, just, okay, let's get her into bike mode in three, two, one. And here's the lady of the hour in her vehicle mode. And I feel like this does win until you get to the back end there and you got the hands hanging off the back end. It's a little bit gappy on mine on that, unless I got something mistransformed. Uh, I do like how this cleans up and locks together in vehicle mode and has that gratuitous amount of paint showing through there for a core class size. I think that the paint apps on this actually work well. The gold, the black, the more the more so the red than the pink splashed in there along the back side of the seat. I mean it it looks like a Ducati bike except for that ugly there. And then they shoehorn that blaster back in underneath there to become a kickstand of sorts but you can barely get that to stand up nine times out of ten i just wanted to take a closer look at those details again on this and let you see oh boy that's unsightly and probably another peg hole for something else later but uh i don't know later that that's this is my strongest case for 
I mean, they did this as well as they could with the budget and the constraints that they had. They added a gratuitous amount of paint that this is my other arguing point that the core class should just be scrapped. Let's move into some final thoughts. Oh, one other point of contention, not really contention, but uh, props to the engineering is that they managed to keep the wheel turn. But I mean, is she going to have Jim and the holograms riding back here? Yeah, <laughs> another 80s reference. And another one of those sticking your head up your butt puns can go right there. Some final thoughts here on the Core Class RC. I pff, like what I see here, but I really do wish the bean counters at uh, Hasbro would drop the whole do more with less moniker and do it with style or don't bother doing it. Uh, like the engineers are trying to do here because they did do this with as much style as possible trying to be fair trying to you know take all the circumstances in i'm just so tired of seeing our beloved characters have an almost home run and rc deserves this home run so i'm really do hoping we get one that's got all the articulation don't forsake the wrist swivels and if you're going to do a core class, do it with style or don't bother doing it. That's exactly what New Age has done, and they're crushing it. And I know that's apples to oranges, but I just want to say thanks again to all those who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, I have my reservations about this core class. Uh, you Typically, if you watch my channel, you know I despise the core class because they just get shoehorned in. And uh, this is the engineering most ambitious effort with what little bit of stuff they've been allowed to do. Thanks again for watching my channel. Y'all have an excellent week out there until all are one.